Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to look at some of the marketing diagrams that you get with Microsoft Visio. On the screen there, you can see that I've got SWOT analysis, a time management matrix, and an Ansoft matrix. These are all available in this template. So if you go File New and get yourself into the Business category, you can see that they sit down here, marketing charts and diagrams. If I just double click on that and create one for you, you can see what comes up. There's all the shapes, the common shapes that you would expect to see if you was going to do this type of diagram. So just close that down, Control W to come back to this one. And let's have a, do, a go at doing the um, SWOT analysis. So at the top there, you've got SWOT, strengths, weakness, opportunities, threats. You'll need to make that a little bit bigger. It's already got the words in there. Now, when you double click into this box, you can see it's center aligned. So what I need to do is I need to just hold my shift key down and click on each of these boxes. I didn't click on the whole shape because if I do that, it will put the bullets that I'm going to put on on the titles as well, which I don't want. So first off, I want them top aligned and left aligned. And I also want to go and get bullets for each of these boxes. So it's put the bullets in. Now I can double click and I'm aligned at the top. And then you can start typing your strengths, if you have any. I'm only going to do the first one, like that. Spelled confident wrong, which is good because you've got a spell check. I did that on purpose. So you fill that in and that's your SWOT analysis. Now, you can do that on business as well. You don't have to do it as a, in terms of personal. Now, if you right-click on these, you can go into data. Um, I've got the shape data window active, and you can see that there is no shape data allocated to these shapes. That doesn't mean that you can't go into define, the define shape data and add your own data to sit behind these boxes. If you wanted a bit more detail to be available, you can just keep going new, 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 and add whatever you want, and then that would appear over on this side so I'll just do a test for you so you can see what I'm on about um, call that testing don't need to fill that in really prompt you don't need a prompt either but you can put something there enter test and then okay and then test comes up there and then you can put some text in oops wrong place text in there like so and that's basically how you do a SWOT analysis. Now I need to undo that because I've killed my little list off. So when you, that's a good point actually. When you double click, double click back into this to add something on, you've got to be careful that you don't obviously delete everything that's there. If you, you just need to highlight it and then click off it and type your next little thing in. So that's the um, SWOT analysis. Now this time management matrix, time management matrix is something I just did a video on not so long back, um, is a very useful tool to use in business, especially if you're a manager. So I just grabbed a blank matrix like that. Um, I'll just push you over here a little bit. So what you have is, this is how you identify people that are, are skiving in your business, potentially. So you have boxes at the top. Um, that one, I can click on it. So this would be, this would be urgent. And this would be important and then this would be not important and then the other one would be not urgent not important and not urgent so what this does it allows you to look at people where they're sitting so this first quadrant um, important and urgent this is really where people would be quite stressed if he's working in this quadrant all the time so this would be like um, crises um, again you can do the bullet list and left aligned and up top aligned and stuff like that but crisis um, disaster um, and things that, that happen like fastballs I'll put fastball down actually that you're not expecting and you haven't planned for this one not urgent uh, but still equally as important this would be things like um, planning, training. 
So things that you train. The idea is that most people would work in this area. So you plan for things and you train for things. So when they do happen, fastball, you can react to them correctly. So these two, most people would work a little bit in there, and but you should try to work in this. The more you do of this, the better you'll be able to handle that. Now this one is urgent, but not imp not important. I've put not important there. That's annoying, so I'm going to have to type that. So not important. Um, this would be things like um, meetings, where people are attending meetings that they don't need to, um, phone calls and emails basically people are doing um, photocopying doing jobs for um, other people not necessarily their job but they always look busy they always look busy uh, but they're not actually doing their job and then the last section is the worst of all where people are doing um, visits uh, walking around with clip clipboards, looking busy, stuff like that. So you don't want everybody does this little bit where you do help out people. Because sometimes that's putting money in the bank, helping people out. But you don't want to be doing that uh, at the expense of your own work. So goals and targets, um, which is another video I've done, will help highlight people that are sitting in this area and get them back into their right place because they'll have to focus and plan. People in this area are uh, just taking the mickey really and you find a lot of managers tend to do this, they're going on visits, uh, meetings, having drinks, um, social events, going away, all that sort of stuff and what benefit is that to the business and what part of their job is that? They make it their job and uh, people just think it is their, it's their job because it's always been their job but it hasn't actually any hasn't got any benefit to the company whatsoever. So that's the time management matrix. Now the ANSOF one, uh, let's move that over there. This is basically where you've got increasing risk going left to right and increasing risk going top to bottom. So you've got your existing business and your existing um, markets, market penetration. And then you've got on the right there, new business new products so the risk increases because it's new business and then coming down you've got new markets market development the risk increases there because you might not get any new customers so this is just how this process works i'm not going to type it all out again i just did a little text box on the top there as i did with swot analysis and time management matrix just using this tool um, the text tool there look just draw, just draw a text box type away and then make sure you take your pointer off otherwise you can accidentally create text boxes everywhere so this is already preset so you've got um, ANSOF uh, if I can find it can't see it for looking I'm on it that's why so you just pull that on you make it bigger and you do exactly the same with the alignments and if you do it all together you can sort that out and if you need to set tabs or anything to do with font sizes this is your text block control um, bullets tabs all the sort of stuff there text block is is um, where the text is uh, if I try and do that if I can try and move a text box you might get the idea um, see like I'm moving the text box there so I clicked on that little tool so sometimes you can move the text box away from a particular shape to make it easier to see uh, but it's still attached to that shape so if I click back onto there start moving this around it still goes with it um, but you've moved it off off center with that text block tool now the other other shapes you can see down this left hand side there's plenty of them there you can put, use these shapes to fill in and make them bigger to sit on there um, you can do the um, the cash cow one let's just start off with a a blank diagram um, it's the uh, Boston one isn't it yeah getting a bit crowded here so move them across there so this is the where you've got a cash cow same principle it's already set up for you and you just put you can just put things in 
to this using these um, tools. Um, bringing that to the front and they just sit on there in whatever quadrant you think they should be in. So I don't know why that other one went to the back. But you, you just fill these in. All right, so question marks and then stars. And so stars would be um, top right hand corner there. And sometimes you get these diagrams with a different uh, line on there, uh, pointing in a different way, and that's pointing that way as well. So this one hasn't got as much information as some of the other ones I've seen. But if you go on the internet and type in any of these names, Ansoff or Boston um, SWAT, you'll get diagrams of them and pictures of what should go in those boxes. But this is just Visio, how you can put the information you need into these boxes in Microsoft Visio. And that's what this is all about. So having made a complete mess of this um, diagram, that's all I want to talk about for this little session. So I'll see, see you on the next one.